seasoned listeners, it's the prof. Yes, Professor Elron Breevel. And this week, I'm going to be explaining to you all one of the greatest mysteries of our time. Yes, namely, the Internet. The Internet. What is it? Where is it? Who is it? So, get out your hypertext marker pens. But before you do, let's start off with a typical example of the type of audio tripe that's available for download from those criminals at Kazaa. Hello, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. My name is Harmony Frazier. This is my show. Coming up. 1K Modem. Professor Elron Briefel, and today we're exploring that bleeping and crashing veritable marvel of the steam-driven age. Ah, yes, the internet. And to explain its flip-flopped fables and fiber-optic fibers, I am joined in the studio by two of the intellectual colossi of the internet world. So may I introduce to you the man you've known for all these years, Professor Middle of the Road. Good evening. And may I introduce to you... The other man you've known for all these years, Dr. T.J. Friday Hooker. Good morning. Dr. T.J. Friday Hooker, I'd like to start with you, if I may. Yeah. Perhaps you could explain to our cultured listeners, who most likely have never had to twiddle a dial in their short pampered lives, perhaps you could explain the workings of a modem. Modem? Hmm. Indeed I can. Yes, I can, can. At its base level, the modem is a device which takes a signal sounding rather like this... and turns it into a signal that sounds like this. <laughs> is that it? Yes, it's as simple as that. I'm sorry to beg to differ, but no, it isn't that simple. Of course it is. You're wrong, Dr. T.J. Hogger, quite wrong. The next step is that the modem is deemed to fibrillate the signal sound in this manner. <laughs> Then it has to fast Fourier courier transform the signal so that it sounds like this.
Gilmore's Flats. It sounds like... like... Processed birds! It is as though the nesting cry of the female kestrel has been filtered through a 2.7 kilohertz ring modulator. Are you quite deaf? Surely that's the mating cry of the hippocampus aliatis. I could have sworn it sounded like the hooded crow, Mustella buccinium, dashing its large, clumsy beak against the frozen earth again and again and again in search of tasty grubs. Tasty grub? No, Dr. TJ Friday Hooker. Tasty grubs! Anyone want Tizer? Do oh, Margaret's child! What is it now? I opened a bottle of Tizer in the fridge. Anyone want Tizer? Margaret, dear child, can you not see? I'm in the midst of broadcasting to the observant masses with these two good scholars. Well, I'd like some Tizer. Tizer, eh? Not since my youth have I tasted of that golden cup. Oh, very well then. Inkiba, three of your finest ales. What? I said... Inkiba! I'm not an innkeeper, Alron! Oh, Margaret, never mind. Three tizers will do just fine. Again, Professor Elrond Briefel returned from the megahertz wasteland. Today, we're all here learning about the internet with my distinguished guests, Dr. T.J. Friday Oka, Alfred Zainbets, and the brilliant Emeritus Professor, 
Professor Middle of the Road. Enchanté. Professor Middle of the Road, I'll turn to you if I may. You may. Could you explain for the prostrate audience the functionalities and fibers of that marvel of the electronic age, the Internet Server? Yes, I can. Servers are not a penny more, not a penny less than the potboiler novelist of the World Wide Web. Oh, do continue. Information is fizzled in at a blinding rate, and the little electric nong-nongs parcel out the data for everyone down the crappy BT phone lines. And is that it? More or less. Tizer, everybody. Ah, Margaret, you are a jewel. Here you go. No, 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 don't put it there, child. You'll upset the barium means. Oh, where can I put the men? Over by the unlocked ziplocks. Before we devour the Tizer, I must take issue with a major part of Professor Middle of the Road's ridiculous conjectures. TJ Friday Hooker, is that really your name? Margaret, my child, isn't your favourite telly programme Sponge Pants Hodgkinson on? Or one of those hip-hop rat trap brain rot videos? We're right in the middle of a demonstrable exegesis. No, Ron. Can I watch it on the widescreen telly? On the widescreen telly? Oh, very well, child. Thanks, Elrond. And don't sit too close to the subwoofer. I don't want your young bones becoming deformed. They'll be five to one, as if we weren't surrounded enough already. information memphis tennessee ah that's where i can download loads of downloads what's this the blasted modem is playing up ghosts in the machine gremlins on the wing Kathy in the cable what could be the problem players traitors it's margaret margaret do you mind getting off the telephone i am online i'm on the phone I know you're on the phone, child. I'm telling you to get off. But I'm on the phone to John. 
I love him. Oh, John, is it now? Last week, it was Steve. The week before that, Peregrine. Next week, I suppose it will be Alfred E. Newman. The Superman, no less. Can I ring John later? Ring later? Oh, yes, I suppose so, Margaret. Now, where were we? And guess what? It turns out that my two guests... Dr. T.J. Friday Hooker and Professor Middle of the Road. Yes, those so-called pair of scientific experts were not a penny more than a pair of old frauds. The cheek of it. I had to have them escorted from the radio shack in shackles. Oh, the disgrace. I'll be a laughing stock amongst the inflated brains of our time. Margaret. I'm playing Nintendo, Elrond. Well, leave Lara Crofts for a moment and fetch me a seltzer and a fistful of barbiturates. Problems. There appears to be a caesura in the flow of digital information. Your modem's crap, Elrond. Crap, Margaret? Crap? This is heresy. Old, perhaps, but crap. It was constructed in the 80s and built to endure. It's still crap. Crap, you say? Crap? Who teaches you these body words? I heard them on the internet chat room. Oh, Margaret, Margaret. Is this what happens when I don't stand sentinel to your every input? The corruption of the senses. The Venus flytrap of the young. Oh, well, Margaret, we'd best test the data stream. Do you want the selenium bridge tube? Child, at times your grasp of the electronic paradigm amazes me. Pass it over. I can't pass it over, Elrond. Can't pass it over? Why ever not? I sat on it, and it broke. Oh, Margaret, you Visigoth in a camouflage suit. How am I now to measure the data rate? Why not use a Newman Krebs digital counter? Ah, of course, child. It's just back from the menders. Let us hope it stopped making that annoying, minimalist, wobbling noise. <laughs>
they are most interesting. An F to the F to the power of Hodgkinson's digit. Hmm, I thought that it could only occur for values below 0.000538 over N to the minus 29. What's it all mean, Aaron? Ask not, Margaret. These are not figures for the untrained mind. Bet you don't know what it means yourself, Elroy. I do, Margaret. I do. In Lady Midan Man's terms, my 1K modem can no longer cope. The data rate has increased exponentially these past two years. Three psychoflops per nanosecond. And rising all the time like yeasty cakes. Elroy, can I have money for new shanty single? What? A shanty? That crazed woman who fancies herself a poet? It's top of the Oh, very well, child. Remove five euros from the tin of Blegvad's biscuits. Meanwhile, I must work hard to remake, remodel the innards of my 1K modem. Stuff to read out, so I'll start at, at the beginning. It says special thanks to guests this week: Mary Agar and Ted Barrow. Family, Mary, someone wants you to sing it to purchase the new modems. 